wasn't expecting this to sound that good, but. Every single time I get on TikTok, which is probably too often, I see a musician, an artist, piano player, a guitarist, a singer, and I'm like, that's one of the most talented people I've ever seen. And I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna sample that and make that into something cool, make a beat with that. And I end up liking the video to save it, continue to scroll and completely forget about it. Forget about it. So, so in today's video, I'm going to be making beats with all the samples that I saved on TikTok. They should turn out pretty fire because people are extremely talented. So let's go. I forgot to mention this in the intro. We're also going to make a TikTok with the best beat that we make and try to get some views, some likes, some comments, you know, all that stuff that I'm addicted to. If you guys could fuel my addiction by smashing the like button and subscribing, that would mean a lot. All right, let's go. Yep. Let's do it. All right, TikTok. Let's sample TikTok. So this first one literally only had like a couple likes. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. I think that's pretty fire. All right, first step is going to be definitely just finding the BPM of this. All right, so it looks like the sample is about 87 BPM. So I had to stress the second part a little bit because he sped up a little bit. This is probably a good loop now. Putting that like high cut on it kind of gives it like that Drake feel when Drake does like these like cool piano samples, but this sounds great. And the snow it falls at our feet. This one might be really fire. Let's try this one. Okay, so now we have this singular sample right here. Now we start to build our beat around it. I think this sounds really great, so let's keep going. All right, I'm gonna use some samples from my drum kit. Got this little percussion loop in here. Just to give it a little bit of bounce. I like this kick sample right here. I mean, <laughs> this is kind of fire. I wasn't expecting this to sound that good. By the way, someone brought that to my attention. Apparently I say, I wasn't expecting this to sound that good in like almost every video. I mean it when I say it. I really did not expect this to sound that good, but all right. Whatever this sound is. I think that's good for the first one. We'll take it. This next one is literally just a lady singing in her kitchen. Fire. Now we need to pitch this vocal to match it. Okay, so we found the key. Now I just want to kind of chop it up. I 
want like some really lo-fi drums, I'm gonna use my beautiful lo-fi drum kit for this. All right, this is a little too fast. I'm gonna bounce it in place. Yeah, I mean, just a basic lo-fi track. This one's kind of boring, if I'm being honest. We can call this the boring lo-fi track. This next one is gonna be more fun, a little more interesting. I'm sure if you've been on TikTok, you guys have seen this guy. And this has been sampled like 100 times, but we're gonna do it anyway. We got our 808 in there. So I just made the TikTok. I think the song and the beat in general is good enough. I'll see you guys in a couple of days to see how it did. I don't have high expectations. I don't have the greatest following ever on TikTok, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is how I edit my videos for TikTok and Instagram Reels. I usually just do it within Instagram Reels, but as you can see, I added the sample kind of playing over top of the video of me looking at the camera, added some text to show what was going on, and this is the final TikTok. My friends, it's a new day. I posted the Instagram and TikTok video yesterday and the results are very underwhelming. On TikTok, we got like 250 views, which is not great. And then on Instagram, we got 11,000 views, which is also not great in comparison to some of my other Instagram videos. But you guys know I post a lot on social media. This happens all the time. Posts just don't do well sometimes. That's just the nature of it. That's how TikTok is. That's how Instagram is. So whenever I have a post perform poorly like this, and I feel like most people wouldn't even be honest about this. A lot of people love to lie about their numbers or whatever. This is real. The post didn't do well. So what would I change? I think it needed to be a little more fast paced, maybe a little more catchy. Maybe I'm just holding the camera like this next time. I'm like, I'm gonna use this sample, flip it around, play the sample, just film me my monitor make it a little more organic, a little quicker. Also, after I went back and watched the clips and I'm editing, I think the third beat was actually the coolest beat and maybe the most like eye-catching and nice to listen to. So maybe I could have gone with that one as well, but that's how social media works. If you are someone who's posting on social media like I am, you just gotta kinda learn, try things out and do not get discouraged when something doesn't go well. This is just another day, another post. It's not the end of the world. You're gonna make another post tomorrow. I post every day on Instagram and on TikTok. So yeah, don't worry about it. But I think I wanna make this a series. I think this will be cool. Maybe like we go and find new samples on TikTok and then try to make the most viral video possible. So this is just day one of that. Maybe we'll do that again. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope you learned something. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Maybe follow me on Instagram and definitely on TikTok. Clearly I need it, but either way, have a great rest of your day. Peace.